Hi friends, Carla here. Welcome back to my channel. I will be doing a cash stuffing video with you guys today. We did transition from bi-weekly to weekly budgeting now, so I will be doing cash stuffings every week. I will warn you, we are a low-income family. We make about $2,200 together, my husband and I, and we are trying to widen our income and trying to increase that income he's trying to go back to school and i'm also trying to go back to school i just don't know for what honestly so i'm still trying to figure things out and i've been like putting out applications out there for bigger income jobs but as long as we're trying to budget with what we have i think that's really important we are doing the zero based budget where we designate a place for every dollar that's just been working out and have been making a difference in our budget and i do like the cash envelope system if that's not for you that's also okay but it just works out for us but for our bills all of those are electronically paid for this week we did budget for 350 i'm not sure if you guys can see that but it's 350 is our budget it came out to 350.73 that's my husband's paycheck for a week i honestly thought it was going to be lower because he missed a couple of hours he did use his vacation hours to kind of fill that up so 350 we're actually going to be stuffing 295 dollars for this paycheck because the 55 dollars i did leave that into his account for his allowance he likes his allowance just to be on a debit card we're gonna move on to this page which is my expenses and my sinking funds page and that's just what i'm gonna use to guide me on where we're gonna designate all of these cash for we're not gonna pay any bills those top ones are all my bills they have all the due dates, but these bottom three are the only ones we're going to stuff, which is our food and our allowance. For food, I guess we don't have anything left. We did combine groceries and eating out into one envelope that just says food. We also have toiletries in here, like household. We don't have a household cash envelope. I used to when I was budgeting my own money. But for right now, since we are trying to focus our money into different things, I would like this to just be, you know, just food, simple. We do stuff 125 in here every week. And our budget for the month is, I think, 500. So we have 120 and 25 in here. I do keep in track with this with my index card in my wallet. I don't have a tracker in here just because I constantly use these envelopes. And then I have Mamma Mia, which I put 25, no, I put $50 in here every week. And that's my allowance as well as my baby's allowance. So I will take what's in here and we're just gonna see how much we have. I'm actually gonna put down this 20 on the side and I will show you guys what I do with that. So I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars. And I still need to grab her some clothes and other things that she needs. Basically, this whole thing just goes to her is what I'm saying. And my husband kept saying that I need to separate my allowance from her allowance because she always tends to eat up my allowance, which I don't mind because I don't really need anything. I just recently I bought some makeup with these envelope. So whenever I do need something, I use it. For miscellaneous, we just use $25 here. It's like $100 every month. So we just use this for anything that comes up, which basically is for Mia, basically. And for us too, when we're short on the food fund, we usually pull from the miscellaneous fund. So that's just been working out with us and we try not to over budget on anything or take anything from the emergency fund. So I just put this in here. And then we're going to move on to our sinking funds. Our sinking funds, I did divide that into three binders. If you guys haven't watched my recent video, I will link that up above if I remember it or in the description down below. I will have that for you guys, but I separated our sinking funds into three colors. So this one are my bills, savings and debt, and then some sinking funds that doesn't have a cap. And then the blue one is for sinking fund that does have a goal or a cap and then the purple one is for moving out which we're not actually going to do anything with that today because we have very limited and i told you guys i'm only going to put money in there if we have a splurge of money so we're going to start with the blue one i'm going to turn this over for sinking funds on this one we're 
only we're not gonna put anything on Christmas quite yet. I will be putting money on the moped, which is twenty five dollars. I've been really trying to put money in here because I really want a moped soon because it just helps us out a lot with work and you guys already know so we have 50 70 95 in here we're not quite there yet but we're slowly getting there and I feel like the more that you put in here the closer you get to your goal and Mia's birthday won't get anything that already has money anniversary is actually already fully funded we did that with our tax refund planners that only get stuffed on my youtube paycheck and citizenship i actually put a placeholder in here because i put the money in the bank it's just a thousand dollar placeholder and it's just prop money and the the idea of the thousand right there i got that from pink budgets i've been addicted to her to her videos recently because she just has a lot of sinking funds and i try not to get too carried away with sinking funds and then valentine's we're not going to put anything there i put a placeholder on the citizenship because i do want to budget for that and show you guys how much everything is if a thousand was enough because i know some people were asking how i'm going to go about that and i honestly don't know i don't know what to budget for i just know it's 750 i think not even a 800 but i do try to take into account the gas and the food money that we're going to use and now we're going to go to my pink binder for rent we're not really going to put anything in there as well as my husband's phone for miha that's where i will put this 20 dollars. so now she has 40 dollars in there she has another 20 from the last week we did that so for medical we're gonna be putting ten dollars i just keep adding a little bit here at a time so we have 150 60 and 70 dollars so i really appreciate everyone that's recommended a place to get our glasses that's really cheap so i will look into that once we have our eyes checked which we really haven't gotten around to just because everything's been so busy but they have actually lowered my hours next week which i'm not happy with and i just i felt like we were on a roll and now everything is like dying down with the hours as well as my husband's hours he went back to 40 hours instead of 50 so it's just stressing me out a little bit honestly if we we're trying to be honest here for gifts we are putting 25 dollars in here and this is just for any occasion that we come up with like if we have like a birthday or what call this or any kind of baby shower or wedding whatever comes up we will have money for it hopefully we have 20 40 60 80 110 20 30 40 1 2 3 143 that is starting to accumulate money and i need to switch the money out in here so that's gifts and then for savings i'll only be putting ten dollars in here for right now and i have decided to just keep savings in here until i reach a thousand and we can deposit that in the bank as well as my debt is gonna just stay in here until i reach a thousand so we have 100 20 40 60 80 200 20 40 60 80 320 30 45 345 four hour savings and i might just use this for my husband's medicine whenever it does come up because that's about like 350 for debt we're gonna put 20 dollars in here i need to switch out the money that I have so 20 yeah all my money is like so weird all right we have 50 100 20 40 60 80 200 20 40 60 80 300 20 40 50 60 75 375 for debt I don't know maybe i'll deposit it and maybe it'll lower a minimum from one of our credit cards that we're trying to pay for this is my debt snowball 
and then taxes we're not doing anything and then hustle is just i put money in here when i make money from etsy and then other is just random things in there so we filled in savings and debt snowball and then the next thing we're gonna do is actually my savings challenge which is my 100 envelope savings challenge so i will be putting five dollars for this one, we're gonna try to lowball it this time around because our income is very low, so five dollars is fine. So we're gonna put one, two, three, four, five in here, and this will just fund our Philippines trip and maybe like pay debt with whatever's left of it. And I'm just doing this for the fun of it, it's still like part of your savings and it'll just help us out to fund for going to the philippines so i will put the date which is the fifth i like to put the date just to kind of see our progress and i do have a container for this and i just put that in the very back where we have done all the other envelopes and I will just color this in since five is an odd number i color that with blue i can find it blue five that is everything that i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching and for continuing to watch and Join us in our journey to our financial freedom and our saving goals. I really appreciate you guys being here and spending time with me. Please subscribe if you're new and give this video a thumbs up. Bye!